Chippewa County authorities say scams are happening almost every day. In 2022, the county saw 111 people fall victim to fraud, resulting in a loss of over $791,000. That number has since gone up dramatically. Whether it's online, over the phone, even door to door, hundreds of residents are falling victim to fraud. It's important to know what to watch out for, and tonight News 18 is digging deeper into the data and sharing the story of a local woman who says she should have seen the signs. I was determined to get this place for me and my son. It was two bedrooms. It sounded perfect. It was a dream that quickly turned into a nightmare for one Chippewa Falls resident. Lisa Stalzen, a single mother, became a victim of fraud, and she's not alone. I mean, we know that there are thousands of new scams every year. Um, sometimes it's challenging to keep up with all of them. It's a trend also seen by local law enforcement. We took a lot of fraud calls during one of my shifts. So Chippewa Falls Police Officer Zachary Joyce dug into the data. It just kind of spiraled into a whole project of how much was the entire community out and how can we make this number a lot less next year and following years. How much money in total did people lose just last year and this was just Chippewa County alone? Uh, Chippewa County alone uh, was out approximately $1.19 million. Losses shared among 212 victims. To break it down even further, nearly $725,000 was taken from 76 victims from scammers outside of the U.S. 136 people lost just over $471,000 within our borders. I think the important thing is, is that, you know, people realize um, these statistics and do something proactive to make sure that they don't fall victim uh, again in the future. Well, I found it on Facebook and it was a sponsored ad. Stalson's story begins in August of last year. She was looking for an apartment for her and her son, so she recruited what appeared to be a private real estate agent, Tanya's property. So she said she found a two-bedroom in my area gave me an address, and then I was able to go on like Google Earth and locate this particular place. And then she started with fees. An application fee, security deposit, first month's rent, carpet cleaning, damages. The costs were adding up quickly. But I haven't seen it yet. And she was like, I wish you understood how this works. And I'm like, but this doesn't make any sense. Despite her hesitation, Stalson's desire for this rental motivated her to continue, making her payments via PayPal. It came down to where I paid everything I had to to get this place. We agreed on a date and time for me to move in. With the moving truck packed, she pulled up to the townhome only to find it occupied by someone else. So immediately I knew it was a scam right away and called 911. But not before losing over $3,000. Never send money via a gift card or wire transfer, um, which are untraceable methods of payment to anyone you have never met before. Stalson's case is still open and Tanya's property is still active on Facebook. So I messaged them about the allegations. I received a reply denying any wrongdoing, but any attempt to contact the page's administrator over the phone for an interview was rejected. You know, always just kind of take a step back resist the pressure to uh, act immediately, and think about it, check on things. What would you say to people who might feel just like embarrassed that they got scammed out of their money? Don't feel embarrassed about it. Um, it does happen to a lot of people and there probably are more victims out there that did not report it. Um, it can be a tough thing to do because at the end of it, you're out that money and you just don't know what to do, where to turn. Uh, just please don't feel embarrassed, don't do anything like that, just still go out and report it. Stalson is sharing her story to spread awareness not only to the Chippewa Valley, but to her son. And I don't want him to grow up thinking that you can't trust anybody. So, Reporting for News 18, I'm Shannon Hoyt. And I spoke with a former property manager who read the messages between Tanya's property and Stalson. He said the conversation was filled with red flags. He said you will never be asked to pay a fee regarding cleaning or damages. And he also said paying via PayPal and paying before seeing the property are also warning signs. Now, if you fall victim to a scam or think something is a scam, you can report it to the BBB. And we've got a link to do that at WQOW.com.